Good morning, brothers and sisters. We welcome you to Our Lady of Perpetual Help in Calistoga, California. We are before the Blessed Sacrament. We're blessed. So when we pray, we know that we are not alone. We are a community of prayers here in our church and throughout the world, those of you who are joining us for this Eucharistic celebration. We shall pray for the sick, for those with cancer. Um, we pray for Gary Ramirez, Gerardo Escobedo, Daryl and Christina Cochrane, Didi Virata and Isabel. We pray for Lucille Doyle, Robert Doyle, Ben Boyarzo, Marcia Stagnero, Jessica Rebelt, Linda Pedroni, Patty McMahon, Patsy Hang, Ronald Ventura, Delilah Hanson, Magdalena Hanson, Patty Buller, Barbara Rochelle Alvin. We also pray for Carmen Mendoza, for Casey, for Betty Cox, and Bob Downey, Fernando Arroyo, and Luis Ferrari. Um, we pray for the poor souls of purgatory and those who are dying right this very second, those who will die tonight. We pray for the souls of Rex by Annie, for John Hayes, Gertrude Komodowski, Laverne Piazzo, Tom Kennedy, and Jim Barrett. And for all our faithful departed, we pray for them. It's the birthday of my cousin, Leonard Maria, and we pray for all your heart's desires.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The angel of the Lord appeared to Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, behold the handmaid of the Lord, be done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Perpetual Help, pray for us. Our Lady of Good Counsel, pray for us. And Our Lady of Father Lupe, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's sons and daughters. We remember that we are loved, that we have a merciful and compassionate Father. And so we come before Him, pleading for our cause to be forgiven and healed. And we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done. And in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Father, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies of your kindness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
four winds of heaven stirred up the great sea, from which emerged four immense beasts, each different from the others. The first was like a lion, but with, e with eagle's wings. <clears throat> While I watched, the wings were plucked. It was raised from the ground to stand on two feet, like a man, and given a human mind. The second was like a bear. It was raised up on one side, and among the teeth in its mouth were three tusks. It was given the order, up, devour much flesh. After this, I looked and saw another beast, like a leopard. On its back were four wings, like those of a bird, and it had four heads. To this beast, dominion was given. After this, in the visions of the night, I saw the fourth beast, different from all the others, terrifying, horrible, and of extraordinary strength. It had great iron teeth with which it devoured and crushed, and what was left it trampled with its feet. I was considering the tin horns it had, when suddenly another, a little horn, sprang out of their midst, and three of the pr previous horns were torn away to make room for it. This horn had eyes like a man, and a mouth that spoke arrogantly as I watched. Thrones were set up, and the Ancient One took its throne. His clothing was snow bright, and the hair on his head was white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, and with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books were opened. I watched, then, from the first of the arrogant words which the horn spoke, until the beast was slain, and its body thrown into the fire to be burnt up. The other beasts, which were also lost in their dominion, were granted a prolongation of life for a time and a season. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven when he reached the Ancient One and was presented before him. He received dominion, glory, and kingship. Nations and peoples of every language serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion and shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Mountains and hills bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Everything growing from the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. You springs bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Seas and rivers bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. You dolphins and all water creatures bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. All you birds of the air bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and praise to Him. Alleluia.
Jesus told his disciples a parable. Consider the fig tree and all the other trees. When their buds burst open, you see for yourselves and know that summer is now near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. My dear sisters, my dear brothers, the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> How have you been after uh, Thanksgiving dinner? I'm sure you had a, a grand time with your families. Today, we are confronted with the issue of mental health. Many are experiencing um, cabin fever and have already been uh, trying to get out of this experience of having been cooped up for the longest time. Um, there are kids, especially those who feel that they are rejected by their peers or are bullied, who also experience depression. So depression is not only for kids. Depression also belongs to the rest of humanity, including some of us who are getting older. But what the Lord is saying is this, that He wants us to remember, just like what St. Teresa of Jesus once said, Nada te turbe, todo se pasa, Dios no se muda. What does that mean? Have no fear. All things are passing. God never changes. That is the hope that we bear within us. And Jesus makes clear in giving the parable of the fig tree. The fig tree around this time of autumn and towards winter would look so bare and almost dead. But deep within the tree, is so much life so that around summer springtime especially summer it bursts out with life so life begins inside of us we always have to remember that that deep within our souls we have been created into the image and likeness of god and in baptism, the resurrection of Jesus has been imprinted right there within our souls. So that when we have mental problems, when we cannot bear the troubles that we go through in life, we only have to switch from external focus to internal focus. And remember the great strength and life that we have deep within us. So when we pray, we know that we are not alone. We know that there is somebody who cares for us and loves us. And props us up whenever we feel so down. The feeling is normal. But the mind would instruct the heart never to despair because the mind knows and the heart when they connect they will show and go back teach us that there is a god who is present the presence of god is deep within us hermanos y hermanas si tenemos eh, la experiencia de depresión y el rechazo de nuestros seres queridos o 
a nuestros amigos o a nuestros compañeros de la escuela, los coalumnos, debemos mantener dentro de nuestro pensamiento, de nuestra mente, que dentro de nosotros es la presencia de nuestro Señor. Hay vida dentro de nosotros. Entonces, las palabras de Santa Teresa, de Jesús, que, que dijo, nada perturbe, todo se pasa, Dios no se muda. Póngales a ustedes, hermanos y hermanas, la confianza en, nos, en el amor de nuestro Señor dentro de nosotros. Hay que batallar contra la depresión para manténganse una buena salud mental. We pray especially for our brothers and sisters who are going through problems with mental health. Jesus never changes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The living word of God proclaimed in our midst gives us courage and hope. So we gather all our needs and present them before our loving Father. That the church and her leaders may be authentic witnesses to the love and presence of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That governmental officials and the leaders of nations may be selfless in their efforts to bring about justice and peace for all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the young may strive to lead lives based on positive values and may find in us good examples of Christian living. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those who suffer in any way may find solace through the ministry of the Christian community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the gift of human life be treasured by all people, guarded by law, and respected by all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died and of our community will enter eternal life in the company of all the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, make us a true presence, a living presence of your hope. <clears throat> May we give hope to others, especially those who are going through problems and difficulties in life. Use us for your honor and glory, instruments of peace. All these we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thus be the Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and word of human hands will be comforts our spiritual drink. Thus be God. Lord God, we ask you to receive us. Be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lava del todo fidelito, Señor. Limpia mi pecado.
Pray that your sisters, my dear brothers, and my sacrificing brothers may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His church. Accept, O Father, the sacred offerings, which of your bidding we dedicate to your name. And in order that through these gifts we become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commandments through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly, right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal. God, through Christ our Lord. For through his pastoral history, he accomplished the marvelous deeds by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being our call, a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as we now and we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heights. You are the holy, O Lord, and fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broken, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Del mismo modo, acabada la cena, tomó el can y dando de gracias de nuevo. Lo pasó a sus discípulos diciendo, tomen y beban todos de él, porque este es el can de mi sangre, sangre de la alianza nueva y eterna. Que será derramada por ustedes y por todos los hombres, para el perdón de los pecados. Hagan esto. En conmemoración mía. The mystery of faith we proclaim that no more and profess your resurrection until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How can we pray that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit? Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and the clergy and the religious. Remember also Jim Barrett, Laverne Boyarzo, Tom Kenneth, Gertrude Kobodowski, 
John Hayes, Father Michael Abuna, Norma Solari, Bob Marcel, Bill and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. The with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Saint Joseph, your most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and Saint Teresa of, of Jesus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We have a loving Father, and so in confidence let us approach the throne of grace as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. So by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of our Savior Jesus Christ, to the kingdom, the power, and the glory of Jesus, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. And may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. With your spirit. There is healing when we greet one another with the peace of Jesus Christ. Peace to all of you. La paz con todos ustedes. Kapayapaan sa inyo Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, in faith, in your love and mercy, I eat your body and drink your blood. That it not bring you condemnation, but health in mind and body and a healing. Brothers and sisters, behold, Jesus, the healer of our souls, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on my roof. Only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for everlasting.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Creo, Jesús mío, que estás realmente presente en el Santísimo Sacramento del altar. Te amo sobre todas las cosas y deseo ardentemente recibirte en mi alma. Pero como ahora no puedo hacerlo sacramentalmente, ven al menos espiritualmente a mi corazón. Como si ya me hubiesen recibido, te abrazo y me uno todo a ti. No permitas, Señor, que jamás te separe. Amén. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us now pray the Anima Christi, the prayer for vocations. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, liberate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, I am separated from you. Let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And close to you, be me. That with your sins, I may be free. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty Father, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and all the members of your families in the name of the Father, not the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended, go in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen.
Dios les bendiga, sus hermanos y sus sisters, que tengan el día de